Here is 2001. A young boy of 12 tries to flee from a boarding school, but decides otherwise at the last moment. Little did he realize that this was the life-changing moment he had been waiting for. Fast forward, the year is 2012. A young boy I speak of in the story is me. Fellow Toastmasters, distinguished guests, all the great things are simple and many of them can be expressed in one single word. Freedom. I always love freedom, but I was asked to give it away by my parents' decision to send me to a boarding school. The whole world shattered around me. How old was I? Twelve, being told to leave. How can I play volleyball when there is an evening class? How can I watch TV when they say it's time to sleep? How can I play a video game which is not allowed to keep? I was about to lose all, all of the most incredible things I ever cherished since my birth. My freedom. Have you ever felt like that? Sonipat, a place in Haryana, in a hospital called Bhagat Singh, I got my first freedom, and that was to cry in arms of my mother. <laughs> she's a homemaker and a source of inspiration of ceaseless perseverance and positivity. She's a dynamic woman and has only one single aim in life, and that is to have her son's welfare. Maybe that day, my father, Mr. Om Singh, has decided to offer me one of the most wonderful things in this planet, freedom. And to take it away as well. <laughs> <laughs> and to allow me to explore, achieve, and define my freedom by sending me to the hostel. My father, a civil engineer, has worked in several companies for the last 25 years in different projects. He's the most honorable man in my life. Currently, he's working on a project of undercar parking, which is the very first project in South Asia as a DGM from Delhi. He admitted me to a school, and the only news I enjoyed most there was teacher is absent. <laughs> <laughs> this is the only thing I remember from the school. And after that, I went to the hostel. The initial days <coughs> were so dull, dark, and hopeless. Until I got accidentally pushed into a volleyball team, and the very first victory in the very first match was just more than a first taste of success for me. It was a triggering moment for all the future endeavors. Over the next few months, I achieved several accolades, including best volleyball, basketball, football player. I established myself as one of the key players in whatever field I took in trust. In the life transforming journey of Houston, I progressed quickly from sports captain to house captain, later vice captain to school captain. Captain, captain, I became so many captains that people started me calling captain. <laughs> <laughs> volleyball is a round shape. So my favorite shape is around. <laughs> Although I got a big round in standard six, I ended as the best all-rounder of my school. And then I went to the college, which is nestled in the hinterland of Malabar Coast. It's a university town. Students of 51 nationalities come to attend this university in pursuit of refined knowledge and extravagant cultural experience. Having Arabian Sea to its east, and in trailing Western Ghats to West, Manipal is the best place for a student to not study. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely it's a huge platform and I tried to make most of it. Of course by not studying, but by trying to. I was among the top 10% students of my college studying instrumentation and control engineering. Where exams were just like table topics to me. When I got questions, I got go blank. I presented several technical papers at national level. I felt like an international star until I got the results, after which 
I started looking at stars. <laughs> I was working as a vice president of Institute of Engineer. One day, my whole body was aching and shaking. I got worried and tensed. I rushed to the doctor, had my blood tested. And the doctor came up with a result. He looked into my eyes. And after a considerable silence, he told me something very serious. He told me that your blood platelets are very exciting. <laughs> and he advised me to start dancing. I started dancing, dancing and dancing. And I realized about dancing that it is about synchronizing your mind, body and soul. And once you do it, your body corresponds to the nature of your soul. Your body corresponds to the inner feelings of yours. It's a phenomenal process to express yourself effectively without words. Having said that, action speaks louder than words. I perform at several levels from inter-college to intra-college then to national level. Then I got selected into Accenture as in soft, soft, associate software engineer. And after a tiring one week, I come happily to Toastmaster because I'm here to chase a dream, not competition. And my dream is to transform <coughs> people see things. Every day in every way, I want to add a value to whomsoever I interact, directly or indirectly. I want to show there is no limit whatsoever. Each one of us is surrounded by lots of happiness and opportunities. Freedom is everywhere. It's about the choices we make. Don't add days to life. Add life to days. And all it needs is you already have your freedom. Thank you. Thank you very much.